Hi everyone, this is Tahina again at The Modest Cat, back with you with another pocket letter. This time I made a Ramadan slash watercolor themed pocket letter. And before I mail it out, I just wanted to show you what I did. Hopefully you guys can get some ideas um, from my pocket letter. So I packaged it with a piece of artwork that I made and I wrapped it with some baker's twine. And so this is what she'll get. This is a hadith from our beloved Prophet It's something that he said that I really love. It, and um, this is, I guess you can read it, but I'll read it out loud. What has reached you was never meant to miss you, and what has missed you was never meant to reach you. And I just did this with some markers that I have. Oh, okay, so she's gonna get the letter like this. And I just realized that when I wrapped it, I did it upside down. So now that I'm making this video, uh, I know what my mistakes were. I put some tea in here. But anyway, this is the front. This is the back. Lots of different types of goodies. My letter's in here. But I'm just going to focus on the cards for this video. So here's the first one. And this is just something that God said. Uh, every good deed of the son of Adam is for him except fasting for it is for me and I will reward it and that's just something um, to remember during Ramadan actually all of these are going to be quotes or verses that are just little reminders for her during Ramadan that's my theme um, for this card I used some glitter washi tape and then I used this adhesive border and I'll show you where I got that. This is Baker's toy that came out of the pocket. I'll put that in later. But this is what I got. I found this at Tuesday morning for 99 cents. How awesome is that? It's Martha Stewart. They're adhesive borders. They're so easy to use. So I just used this one. I cut it to size, cut it in half, and then just glued it on. And it makes it really pretty. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you, like, before I even made any of these cards, I used just this uh, piece of scrapbook paper that I had from Heidi Swap and I cut down nine cards that are two and a half by three and a half and then I just use my watercolors just however I felt it looked pretty and I don't have anything fancy I just have these children's Crayola's watercolors but I really like them they work really well so it just goes to show you don't need anything really expensive or fancy to make artwork. So the second card is just really simple. It's just watercolor and then I wrote a verse from the Quran. Uh, so remember me, I will remember you. It's a really powerful verse that I especially like and I remind myself of it. So I hope she likes that. The third one. It's just a purple themed card. The watercolor is, is like purple and green, so I, I used a purple cardstock, a doily, purple washi tape, purple gems. And this is a prayer that we're supposed to say throughout the nights of Ramadan. And I put the translation in here along with some washi samples. Because you can't ever have enough washi, right? Alright, moving on to the next one. Same thing, same kind of concept, watercolor, and then just write whatever you want. I wrote, do not count the days, make the days count. I used another adhesive border, and then just cut out a moon and a star and some glitter stars to fill up the space. The middle center card is a shaker card that I made and it was really easy to make and inexpensive. All I did was use some clear packaging from just like stuff that you buy. Like here's an example, I bought a stamp set 
And so I just used this clear plastic, cut it to two and a half inches by three and a half inches, just two pieces. Used washi on three sides and then filled it with um, just some confetti that I used like a paper punch for and um, just some hearts that I punched out and I wrote Ramadan Mubarak and that moves around and then you just tape the top and then you have a shaper card. Very easy. I wish I had a fuse tool but not there yet. <laughs> okay, next card, just really simple white card stock used another adhesive border from that Martha Stewart pack. This was leftover watercolor paper from some of the cards that I cut down and I just taped it together and used uh, washi tape on there. And this is a verse from the Quran, to fast is best for you if you only knew. And my letters in there with some other goodies. This one again, very simple but I still like how it turned out. Watercolor. I had my husband write that in Arabic because I haven't learned how to write in Arabic yet, but that says, Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months, and that's a verse from the Quran that's related to Ramadan. This one I think is my favorite card because I just like the colors. I used a pink doily, and I wrote this using actually on all the cards I used this pen it's called Le Plume I don't know if they make this anymore it's really old but it's I mean it's I've had this for years and it still has ink and it's awesome so this is it has a brush tip and I use that for the bigger words like paradise and this one and then on the other side there's an extra fine nib that I use for all the other words. I love it. It's a really good pen. If you can find it, get it. It'll last for a very long time. And then last but not least, it says the prayer of a fasting person is never rejected. So it's a nice little reminder during Ramadan. Again, I'm just using one of my watercolor pieces to write a quote. Use some scrapbook paper in the back fill the spaces with gems and then I just cut this out from another scrapbook paper really easy to do and you can use this for any kind of pocket letter so even though this is Ramadan theme I wanted to show everyone because you can use this concept for any type of pocket letter that you want to do um, if you have any questions just leave a comment below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye